Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out the Stegosaurus Territory Free Roam for LEGO Jurassic World. And you can see on the right we do get a couple of collectibles including a red brick. We find a few characters scattered throughout the area which have been unlocked due to worker in perils that we have freed. You know, those frowns that we've turned upside down. And uh, if you haven't completed the story and the free play by now, uh, I'm not sure how far you're going to get, but you're probably going to run into some problems. But uh, that being said, here we are at the helipad. We're going to go ahead and use it to switch on over to the other island. So we've left Nublar and you can see we're now on Sorna and right here on the docks there's actually a kiosk and convenient as it may be that's the one we need so we're gonna go ahead and cue that off you can see the area as well as the collectibles one red brick as well as four golds and they are all listed there so we're gonna go ahead and gets to get in here by rolling down the street oh wait first we're gonna go over here and pick up a couple dudes like I said we got Carlos what's up Carlos He's on the right-hand side over on the docks. Now, keep in mind, all the characters that have locks on them are still characters that are uh, locked due to workers in peril, and you will find them along your journeys in free roam and, and all that. So uh, these ones are also workers that we have freed, and they are no longer locked, so you should be able to purchase them. The locked ones you still need to find, but don't worry about those until you get to the end. And don't you don't necessarily need to buy these characters in the area. They just happen to be here. We're grabbing them, because why not? We've got the cash, and uh, we'll go ahead and make it happen. So, All right, we picked up the three characters in the area. We're going to make our way down the right-hand path here, because that's the only way we can go. We finally come to this edge, and we found a bouncy mushroom on the right-hand side, so we bounce up to the top. And this is actually where we're going to kick into the first gold brick. Now off to the right hand side you can see there's this weird lantern shaped almost thing and it's got a crack in it which means we're going to have to get our smash on so we get the old hard headed packy out and we get a nice little charge and hurrah! Booyaka shall we bust it open and all of a sudden we get jumped by a bunch of hunters and then a clock kicks off which indicates that we have to kill so many hunters within that a lot of time so turns out this is a little bit more difficult than it might seem. Uh, they shoot those tranquilizer darts at you, and it only takes a couple before you get hurt. So uh, if you have some invincibility, God, if I can say that right, that might help. But otherwise, we found that the running or the charge and running in circles actually will get you a long ways as well. So we get all 15 within the allotted time, just barely, and that adds up to our gold brick tally. Woohoo! You can see how excited Packy was, too. Now you might have noticed this Stegosaurus is actually trapped over here. His tail is stuck. We're gonna go ahead and pull out a character with the crowbar ability and step right on up. And we're gonna free this guy because, uh, hey, we like the Stegos. Stego is one of our favorite dino bots. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, so we now control the big Stegosaurus and we're gonna go ahead and recommend that you take control of this guy and uh, it, it's smart to go ahead and move him over to the right-hand side and move him past that black rock, the Dilophosaurus rock, because, uh, well, here in a minute, we're going to do a little bit of a race, and uh, this could present himself to be in the way otherwise. So move him out of the way, switch to a Dilophosaurus, get your hock to on, spit till there's no more black rocks, and then switch to a little guy so you can slide on through that little mini door. We go ahead and choose... Uh, oh, Timmy! Go up top, and look at that. We're going to go ahead and drop the box, which smashes into pieces and actually reveals a gold brick. So, pretty easy stuff. As long as you got the Dilophosaurus and a little guy, you should be fine. And if you followed our recommendations at the beginning and you have beat all the story and all that, you will have it all good. All right, next, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's kind of a race. It's not really a race, but it kind of is. There are these cracked blocks, and there are a series of them. You have to start at the front and work your way to the back, and there's actually some on this upper level, so you have to go and jump, and this is where that Stegosaurus being in the way could have been a problem. He could be right in the middle of your path, so now that he's out of the way, we can get all the way up top, get all five of them within the time. That's weird. My timer is still going. Notice that? But look at that. I end up getting the red brick, and... For whatever reason, it doesn't it like didn't seem to give me credit for the gold brick. But you'll see in a second here, I actually end up with all of the gold bricks. So, oh yeah. Now go ahead and switch on over to a raptor, because in this back corner over here, kind of hidden up on the line on the wall there, there is actually a raptor pounce point that you can jump up to and grab. So Woohoo! Look at that excitement. We're jumping for joy. We switch on over to the Stego, and one last look at the map here. 
We'll go ahead and check out the old kiosk and look at that. Four of four and one of one. So yeah, I'm not sure why the timer continued to count down and it didn't actually give me credit. I mean, you know, normally it flashes, you know, and gives you but it didn't. But you know what? I'm not worried about it. We're good. We got the gold or the red brick out of that. And uh yeah. Got all the gold bricks needed, too. I know it's confusing. I'm confusing myself just talking about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty short and sweet, actually. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or you simply want to just get involved in the conversation, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or comment, vote, subscribe down below, of course, too. We also have HappyThumbsGaming.com. A handful of you are asking some questions, and we're referring you to our trophy achievement guide for LEGO Jurassic World. And you guys are thanking us tremendously because there's a lot of information that Dougie put together for us. And... Uh, check it, check it out. Links for that and other things down below. And uh, as for me, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for now. As always, until next time. Dinobots, transform and roll out. Oh, yep.